welcome back guys this is another tutorial on Puforia and unity and today i am gonna show you how to add a virtual button in the Puforia. so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a image target and i am going to play a video on top of that and when you press that particular button that video will be paused or played so this is not a unity ui button so this is a virtual button what is that means that means that when you place your hand on top of the uh, physical component that means the image in a certain position then that button will be active or deactivated okay so let's get started first of all we need a image target by the way i have already configured this Buforia project that means I have already put the API key. I have uh, turned on the Vuforia option in Unity. I have imported the AR camera and so on and so forth. So you already have seen those things in the previous tutorials. So I'm not gonna show that. Okay. So let's create a new image target. And in the image target, you'll find the database i have already added my own database here so this is the database the first one is my own database so i have selected that and this is going to my going to be my image target next we need a virtual button if you click on this advanced tab here you will see that there is an option named virtual button so what it does inside the fuforia backend that whenever anything covers up this particular area this area this rectangular area on the real life environment that means the real image um, in the physical image portion then this button is activated so there will be a event handler that will uh, be called automatically when this is this surface this particular surface is hidden or not hidden okay so that is the actually logic behind uh, how this button works so you have to make sure while placing your button you have to make sure that uh, the button is being placed in such a position that there is a lot of feature point in that position for example in this image uh, if i go to the vuforia developer panel you can see So this is my uh, target if I click here and go to the show feature you can see that there is a lot of feature point scattering in the image so while choosing your virtual button you have to make sure that you are covering most of the feature points right I am choosing the middle position because there is a lot of feature point here so that's why I put it it here maybe I'll just keep it in the middle also when you play this game this um, this greenish or bluish this button will not be shown so if you want to get a you know a uh, representation of this button you can add some extra component so I am going to add a 3d quad and I have to rotate it So this will be my button and I also need a graphics because now there is no graphics on it. So I have already imported a play button. So first of all, I need to create a material. And drag and drop the play button texture on the albedo section. Now in the texture there is a transparency section but as you can see the image is totally black now so what we have to do first of all drag and drop the material on top of the quad and if you click on the quad you will find something called the rendering mode so in the rendering mode we'll select the transparent 
and it will show the transparency section of this image great now before moving on to the next section all we have to do we have to create a video player but before that maybe make this button a little bit transparent so it looks you know kind of fade right okay so let's start by uh, creating a new video player on the top of this image target okay you can simply right click on the image target component and go to video uh, where is the video oh sorry you have to make the plane first so split down to the image target and when you are done so this is the plane which will render the video component okay so it's kind of similar to the image it will also create a material by itself so like we did to the image we'll do the similar thing for the video uh, I have already downloaded this video file I'll give the video link and github link for this project on the description box you can simply drag and drop this video on top of the plane component it will automatically create a video player uh, view here and assign it to the plane and finally I like to make the plane in a child of the image target it's already a child of the image target and I'll create a uh, script that will maintain the play and pause functionality of the video player uh, first of all we will need the Vuforia namespace and we'll also need an interface that Vuforia offers so this is for the virtual button so this handler will handle all the events for that button so right click on this interface and click on this quick fix and implement interface this will implement this two method and all we have to do we have to just write some code here and then we'll be done okay so let's start by just dragging this script down here it will look more cleaner and in the start method we need to register this event to do that we need this euphoria uh, sorry not this so the name of this class is virtual button behavior see here so we need to get that script virtual button behavior and register this class to that event so this line this line uh, ask Vuforia that um, in your virtual button behavior register this class as the event handler for the button okay now as we are going to work with the unity video so we'll need another namespace so that will be unity engine dot video and create a public variable here for the video player finally we'll need to do just play or pause this video right so this is the player video player so player dot start maybe no play sorry maybe play yeah play so and also here we'll put down player dot pause so that's it um, maybe we can also do another thing maybe we should hide our play button 
when the user you know when the i mean we should hide the play button graphics when the player start the video so when the video is started then we'll just turn off the renderer and also when it is again paused then we'll again turn that on great last couple of things first of all we need this script drag and drop the script to the virtual button this is the script that we created right and the first one is a video player so this will be the video player and then this play button so this quad this is our button maybe you should rename it button image and this is the video great uh fine now in the video player we also need to check this off because it will automatically start playing the video otherwise now save your project try to build it it will work i think so let's go to the let's build it and let's see how it works Now if you have noticed that the video itself is not that clear, to fix that you could easily create a new material and rather than using this standard shader, you could use this unlit and transparent shader, drag and drop this material to the video plane and this will make the video more clear. There is a lot of other option in this video player that I haven't discussed in this tutorial but maybe i should uh, make another tutorial on this video player then we can dive more into those features and see more of them so when we create the final three projects in this complete air fundamental course then we'll see a lot of this kind of uh, features that unity offers in that tutorials so for now i think you are ready to go to make your own virtual button and i'll see you in the next tutorial